gently massage in a circular motion. Hmm. Oh yes, that feels splendid. Don't feel any bumps. <laughs> ah, hello, I'm Nigel Kermogurdy and welcome to Laudable Literature. <laughs> or as my more hip and happening younger viewers say, lit that is the shit. <laughs> oh, you kids. <laughs> Today's selection is The Wife of Bath's Tale from Chaucer's classic, Canterbury Tales. <laughs> the thing starts out with this night fellow, and he sees this hot little virgin number walking ahead of him. The knight, that randy bastard, shoves the dame down and pops her cherry. <laughs> Good for you, old boy! <laughs> anyway, for some reason, people get pissed about it, and unless the knight finds out what every woman wants and tells this old nag of a queen, he'll have his head on the chopping block. <laughs> he finds out by screwing this old hideous broad who ends up transforming into Jessica Beale or something like that. <laughs> oh, Chaucer, you tricky devil. You buttery little banana nut muffin, you. <laughs> Writing about rape as if it's the man's fault. <laughs> we know better nowadays, don't we? <laughs> and good God, man, don't bet her until after she's transformed. <laughs> there are fates worse than death, my friend. <laughs> my hemorrhoids are acting up again. The moral of this story is, if you're going to rape a dame, be sure to ply her with so much strong drink she doesn't remember what knickers are, let alone know what you did with hers. <laughs> this has been Laudable Literature with yours truly, Nigel Colonel Gertie. Have a pleasant evening. <laughs> kids. You know, we here at Laudable Literature have a lot of fun, but one thing that's not fun is puppet rape. You know, puppets have feelings too, and just because we have holes in our butts doesn't mean we want to be penetrated, you know? Seriously though, kids, I just want you to know that animals do in other animals isn't cool. Instead, find me a nice armadillo lady. I don't want something with gills. Anyway, Thanks for enjoying our show. We'll catch you on the flip side. All right, where's my smoke?